class today, you narrow your mat or your soft surface. And then dumbbells more strictly for upper body than anything. There are some lower body exercises we're going to do with them, but you would just be holding them or doing something with your upper body with them. So if you want various dumbbells for upper body, and then make sure you have wall space close by because we do have wall sets in class today. So wall space, mat, and then dumbbells for upper body, and we'll get warmed up here in a little bit. Let's start our warm up with some butt kicks. Turn that into high knees, slightly back. And jumping jacks. Go ahead and step it out nice and wide, drop into a low squat, give me five pulses, pop it back up, five pulses, keep doing that, five pulses, pop all the way back up, keep those feet out wide, Just push back the butt, two more times through. Once you're with that, step it in, hinge at those hips, give me a flat back, give me our I, Y, T, W, O behind the back. Once you get behind the back, pull, stand up, and then hinge back down and repeat. I, Y, T, W, O, pull to stand up, drop it back down. Two more times. Last one. Good, step it out wide again. Alternate side to side, just shift the weight. Not a full lunge, but give me a straight leg, bent knee. Pull the shoulders back. Three, two, one, set it in, stay loose. I'm gonna go over our moves. Your first one, weighted burpees without a press. So it's literally weighted, so I want you to keep your arms straight the entire time. You're just holding onto those burpees. Thumb on each hand, step it down, back up. Add your hop with those dumbbells in your hands. If you're uncomfortable with that, give me a calf raise and then head right back down. Next one and the third one are the exact same. I just want to separate it out to give each other time for the right and the left side. We've got a single leg Romanian deadlift, knee hold to an overhead press. And it's going to be, I did that wrong. <laughs> it's going to be ipsy, so it's going to be on the same. So we've got that dumbbell. We're going to go down, come up. That knee comes up. Same side of the body is what you're holding onto that weight with. And that's what you do that overhead press with too as well. So a little balance. And then like I said, the next one, we'll just switch and go off to the other side. That way we've got time to focus on both sides. Let's get started. Weighted straight arm burpees with that hop or calf raise if you want to modify. One minute on the clock. Three, two, one, here we go. You need to modify this. You just completely take all of the jumping out. So step, step, calf raise. Otherwise, burpee. Nice and quick. Sit back in those heels. And then explode up with that jump. Don't jump up right away. Finish the bottom of that squat and then give me a hop once you're fully up. Gotta load that weight, pull the shoulders back, stand up tall, and then hop. Big 
15 seconds left. Three, two, one. One dumbbell. Let's all do the same. Right hand. So left leg stays. Knee comes up, weight comes up, press. Tap out if you need to. Otherwise, hold that balance. Remember, we're not switching halfway. Our next exercise is the other side. So take your time. Ten seconds left, and then we've got transitional period before we go to the other side, so we don't have to start the other side right away. Three, two, one. Quick little ten seconds. Now our left knee comes up, right leg stays. Dumbbell in your left hand. Halfway, and then we're back to our burpees. This baby makes my balance worse and worse every day. So if you're struggling, I'm right there with you. Keep taking your time, less than 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, weighted straight arm burpee. Remember, jump back up from that plank here. Load up and then do your hop. Ready, set, go. 45 seconds. Just over halfway. Three, two, one, one dumbbell. Left leg stays, right side of the body moves and begin. Bend that right leg straight back, squeeze the glute, knee comes to the front. Keep that weight super close to your body as you go down towards the floor. Three, two, one. Quick little break. Left side of the body is the mover now. Get yourself set. Ready? And begin. Now we're extending that left leg straight back. Nice solid line with our torso. Extending that leg up as high as our flat back. Make that nice steady line from head to toe. Pull that core in tight on your balance.
Last three, two, one. Back to both dumbbells. Last round, weighted, straight arm burpee. Three, two, one. Here we go. 30 seconds. As many burpees as you can get done safely with good form. You're not doing that jump right away. Push that butt down. Bottom of the squat to standing, and then we hop. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Down to one dumbbell. Left leg stays. Ready? Begin. Your best reps right here. Take your time. Don't worry about having you get done. Feel that left hamstring working. Time for one more. Three, two, one. Switch to them over to the other side. Get ready. Right leg stays. Ready, set, go. Last one right here. Three, two, one. Very good. Take your break and I'll come right back to show you our moves for circuit two. Circuit number two, exercise one. We've got pogos, hacky sack, and a squat jump, all combined into one move. You're gonna hop on one leg for five, other leg for five, and then we go into our hacky sack. We're gonna do that butt kick behind the body, and you reach for the opposite hand, that foot, for 10 total, so five each leg. So five, 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 and then one squat jump, and then right back to the pogo. Pogo, pogo, hacky sack, one squat jump. Second exercise is wall sit. I'm gonna challenge you to take a weight with you and prop it on your lap. Drop it down nice and low. Got my wall behind me. I'm having my shoulders back against the wall. Third exercise then, we're gonna come back. You've got a lateral plank walk. You just need enough space to step over with your right side and your left, just to one. Three push-ups. walk back to the middle and then walk off to that other side. So you always stop in the middle, kind of hold a plank for a little bit and then walk off to the side again. So you need enough space to travel in three different spots. So lateral walk off to the side, same side of the body, leg, arm moves at the same time, other one comes to meet it and then drop to those knees if you need a modifier for the push-ups. and it's three push-ups. Okay, back to our first one. Pogo, hacky sack, squat jump, one minute on the clock. Five, two, three, two, one, let's go. Nice and quick cardio move. Cross that leg across the back of your body. Reach for those hands. Drop it low, land softly for that squat jump.
Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Wall sit. Get to your wall quickly. Remember, challenge the weight. Three, two, one. Drop it low. Hold it. Don't lean on those thighs or your knees. Pull the shoulders back. Weight in those heels. Catch your breath. If you took that weight with you for the challenge, it's just resting on your thighs. Halfway. Ten seconds left. You got this. Come on, this minute's the longest you got to do, and then you're good. Three, two. One, bring it back. Lateral plank walk, start in the middle. Walk to the right, three push-ups. Walk to the middle, walk to the left, three push-ups. Ready, set, go. Remember the right hand, right leg moves together. Modify that push-up if you need to, it's three of them. Hold it steady in the middle for a little bit and then walk up to the other side. Awesome job, less than 20 seconds left. Get that chest down to the floor. Three, two, one, bring it up. We are back up to the top. Pogo, hacky sack, squat jump. Three, two, one, let's go. Legs behind you, cross the belt. Get those heels up, reach them with those fingers. Three, two, one, wall sit, let's go. Ready, set, hold it. Shoulders back against the wall. Come on, get lower. Don't lean on those thighs. Keep your arms down. No elbows on your thighs, your knees. 15 seconds left. Last five. Three, two, one. Weights down, bring it back. Traveling plank to three push-ups each side of the middle. Ready, set, go.
Less than 10 seconds left. Come on. Finish strong. It's time for three more push ups. Three, two, one. Bring yourself up. Last round, 30 seconds. Go, go, hockey sack, squat, jump. Ready, set, go. Get those heels up. Finish it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Well set. As low as you can go. It's only 30 seconds. Ready? Set. Go. Last 10. Three, two, one, bring it back. Here we go, last one to circuit two. Three, two, one, three push-ups each side. Finish it out, finish it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Grab some water and we'll come back for circuit three. All right, circuit number three. Your first one, you're gonna have a dumbbell in each hand, reverse lunges, alternate the leg. When you come up from your lunge between every right and left lunge, you have an upright row. So palms facing you, pull up right about to that clavicle. All we're gonna hold the weights, lunge, stand up nice and tall, upright row, and then the other leg gets set back. Second exercise, the only time I want you swinging your weights, we're gonna do a swinging kickback. And then you're gonna load those weights up at the shoulders for a squat. And then you stand up from your squat and you're gonna slowly kind of uncurl in a hammer curl. So slightly forward, swing, load, squat, uncurl, super slow. Swing, load, squat, stand up tall, uncurl from the top of a hammer curl. And then your last one, we're gonna be in our panther position with your dumbbells. So start at all fours, hands in position. We come up onto those toes and you're gonna give me a push up. It's gonna be a little awkward because you're gonna kind of dip, but it's working a smaller part of our chest and our back muscles. So I want you to dip. So don't think of having to have a flat back like a regular push up. So you got your panther, you do your push up, and then you step or hop out to renegade row or high plank so you can renegade row. Step back in, push up, back out, renegade row. That's your process for that one. So those are our three moves. Let's get started with our first one. Reverse lunge, alternate the leg with the upright row in between each leg. Five, seven, three, two, one, let's go. Take your time. Get our knee nice and low. Make sure you're up and tall. And then upright row.
Class 15. Last three, two, one. All right, swinging tricep kickback. Again, the only time I want you to swing your weights. Load for a squat, stand up from your squat, uncurl. Three, two, one, here we go. Super slow-mo on that hammer curl. And then you swing. That's the fastest part of this movement is that swing. Everything else, super slow to control. Job, 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, down to the ground. If for some reason this push up bothers you in Panther, I want you to modify, go away from the dumbbells, do a push up and then step back into your renegade row, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Either hop out or step out. Renegade row each hand, step in. Again, if you need to modify, hands away from your weights, push up, meet your weights back again, renegade row. Just like so, otherwise you're going for it. Don't worry about depth. I just want you to challenge yourself. Get that chest super low, get those arms bent. Three, two, one. Awesome job, way to push. Bring it back up, reverse lunge, upright row. Three, two, one, here we go. Power up with that front leg. Get that back knee down. Slow and in control, upright rows. A lot of upper body with this circuit. Last five, three, two, one. Swinging kickback, squat to hammer curl. Three, two, one, here we go. Light lurch forward with those weights to get your swing. Otherwise, you're going straight back. Arms stay straight. Still working our triceps. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Panther push up. Do not worry about depth. Hop or step out to renegade row. Okay. Three, two, one. Here we go. Don't forget your modifier. Hands in front, away from the dumbbells, push up. Right back to it. Three, 
three, two, one. Bring it all the way up. Shake those arms up. We got one more. Lunge to upright row. Alternate that leg. Ready? Set. Begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Swinging kick back, squat, bottom of the hammer curl. Three, two, one. Here we go. Less than 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Awesome job, head down to the ground. This is it. Do what you can, push through, okay? Three, two, one, begin. Target the whole Different part of your chest tricep group you didn't even know you had. Ten seconds left. One more time through, you got it. Three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, next up, circuit four. It is going to be all core. We do have core movements that we're still using our upper body. I know we just burned our upper body. So you may want lighter weights to hold for those. So make sure you've got different variations of dumbbells for upper body, okay? Take your break and I'll be right back. Circuit four, hopefully you've got your lighter dumbbells around with you. If you don't have lighter dumbbells you wanna use, you can totally just have bare hands and then still do the upper arm movements with everything, okay? It's not just core, still working the upper body, like I said. So your first one, you've got T sit-ups to kind of an upward angle push press. So legs are perfectly straight together, arms are out just like the letter T. And you bring your arms in, simultaneously as you're doing that full setup, okay? Bear with my pregnant self, I'll give you one example. So coming up with this, and then bring it together, press, and then they come right back out as you lower back down, okay? So arms come up as you come up, lower them together, give me an upward angle press, extend back out, arms all the way back out, and then you lower down, finishing the top or the bottom half of that setup, okay? That's our first one. Your second one, we're gonna hold a high plank and you're gonna alternate a reverse single arm fly. So we're in the high plank, dumbbells in our hands, just like we just had for our renegade and our panther. We're here, right arm, left arm, and then just to give ourselves a little break, we're gonna add a hop in, okay? So slight bend, reverse fly, hop in, hop right back out. That's exercise two. Exercise three then, we're gonna go into a side plank and you're gonna hold onto a dumbbell, top arm straight extended. So you can modify bottom knee down, but hip up and hold. Otherwise full side plank, holding that side T and we will switch halfway to go to the other side. So you're not holding that for too long. So quick transitions for that last one, okay? So first one, T sit-ups, angled upward push press, Lower back down. Of course, I'll be modifying. So if that becomes too challenging for you, just watch for me and you can do the modifier along with me. 
One minute on the clock for round one. Three, two, one, let's go. Full sit up with those arms. Basically like an iron cross combo with our sit ups. Or modify with me, stay in the C sit position. Little chest fly and then coming up. Otherwise you're laying flat, making that nice capital letter T with your body. Arms come together as you sit up. Less than 10 seconds left, you're doing so good. Upper body burner for boot camp today. Three, two, one. Let's flip it over into our plank. Single arm reverse fly. Don't forget that hop in after every fly or every right and left fly, I should say. Three, two, one. Here we go. Right, left, hop in or walk in, whatever you need to do to modify. Right, left, left, right. Try to keep those hips pointed down when you raise your arms. Basically, we don't wanna open up into a side plank. If you've got headlights on those hips, they're staying pointed down. Your sight is staying pointed down. Last three, two, one. Great job. All right, so get yourself set up for your side plank, whatever side you want to start with. Gotta do both sides anyway. Three, two, one. Here we go. So here's modify. Otherwise, both legs are extended out. Making another capital letter T with our body here. Get ready to switch to the other side here shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. As soon as you're set, you're going. Get through the minute and then everything else goes by so fast. Round one's always the hardest. Last five. Three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, lay it on back. Capital letter T. Fly, sit up, push, press, lower down. Three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Plank, alternate with that reverse fly. Give me one hop in. Three, two, one, here we go. I want a slight bend in those elbows, not a straight arm.
four, three, two, one. Get yourself set for our side planks. You are almost out of class. Four, three, two, one. Side plank. Modify like I am, our both legs extended out. Pull that belly button in nice and tight. Arms make a nice straight line, fingertip to fingertip of the opposite hand. Three, two, one, switch sides. Last 10. Three. Two, one, awesome job. Lay it back. T sit ups, angled push press, 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Already halfway done. Focus on your breathing. Don't rush, even though we're almost done. Finish strong, good form. Four, three, two, one. Plank. Don't get that hop in. Ready, set, let's go. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, one. Last exercise, 15 seconds is gonna go by so fast. Side plank, straight arm hold. Three, two, one, here we go. Three, two, one, other side, finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one. You are done. Awesome job, way to push through. Shake out those arms later today. You're definitely gonna wanna, and I'll see you next time.